In social media management, people often talk about how important it is to build your list, your database, your tribe, but not everyone explains how to do that. Sometimes something as simple as having a way to collect email addresses on your site could be the easiest way to collect email addresses and build your list. A lot of people want to stay in contact with you and Facebook is not always the option. So if you give everyone a clear option at the top of your page to actually opt in to join your mailing list, to get a freebie, to stay in contact with you, you'll start growing your list very quickly. So today I'm going to show you a quick way to add MailChimp and, Hel and a hello bar to the top of your WordPress site so you can collect email addresses for whoever visits your site. And it will look a little something like this right there at the top so anytime someone visits your site they'll have the option of putting in their name and email address and you'll start building your list fairly quickly dot com okay and i am going to sign up for free i'm going to use i'm trying to think of what the email So you just put in your email address, the username that you want, and the password. Make sure you abide by the password rules down there. Okay. And create my account. Okay, then you go to your email and you confirm that um, you are setting up the account. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so go to your email and you'll see an email from MailChimp Client Services. If you're using Google, um, this one isn't Google because it's my kind of default email address that I use for training, but if you're using um, Google, check your updates folder and your promotions folder. Um, and if you scroll down, you just click on activate account. Okay. Check that you are not a robot. And I do not want to select all cake below a sample image on the right. It's telling me I selected too few, but oh, I guess this is a cake too. Weird. Um, yeah, that looks like a cake. So I'm going to click on verify. It's just basically a quiz saying you're a real person, so you have to answer the question. Um, I didn't know the second one was a cake. Anyways, confirm, sign up. And then you put in your information. Okay, and then you just fill out all of this. I'm just going to fill out whatever. Um, I don't have a list to import. One caution, don't just import a list of your friends and family. They're not your target audience. They're not who, they haven't given you permission to send you stuff. Don't um, import that. Are you setting this up for a client? In this case, I am not. Okay. So you fill in your company or um, information. Okay. So here are a couple of tips for when you're setting up your mailing list. By law, you have to have like an address, website, things like that um, in order to have a mailing list. Um, so you are required to do that. So if you don't have a company or organizational name, do what you think it is going to be and you could come back and change it. But I'll do, this will be my company. You have to have a website. So if you do not have a website, put your Facebook business page. If you do not have a Facebook business page, you can use um, basically anything like your blog, your um, Twitter account, your personal Facebook page, but you have to put something in here. So just a tip. And I think if you click, yeah, if you click on here, it gives you a list of suggestions, but it's basically what I just said. Okay. 
Um, I don't want to give out my address because um, none of my people um, need to know where I live. Everything I do is virtual, so I put um, just the state and city. And I do it again here because, again, you are required to have this. You are required to have this um, on your um, page. So I'm just going to make up something. Okay. Select your industry or the closest thing you could find. I'm going to do marketing and advertising. Eastern time. Upload your profile pic. Okay, if you don't have a profile pic, you could take a picture. Um, you su can subscribe if you want. They'll give you little tips um, to help you. So that's a great idea. I'm not going to do that now. Okay, I don't care about any of this for now, but when you're going through it, you can go through all of the steps. Basically, in any um, list building database, you need to create a campaign, a list, and then um, either pages or a way to collect. Um, your information. So we're going to start with a campaign. And then here it's saying if you don't have a list, you can send to yourself. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to create a new list. This is going to be my default. Keep in mind um, that you want to keep this descriptive um, because people will see this. So uh, MailChimp, I believe, allows you to do spaces. Yes, it does. So this will be um, my uh, okay. So name it whatever it is. Your default from email address in this instance, I'm going to use my social Nina. So that's your email address. This is the way you want it to display. So I might want it to say social Nina. Or I might want to say socially Nina rocks. I don't know. So make sure it's appropriate. And of course, you don't want it too long because a lot of people will read this on their phone. So um, this one, you want to remind people how they got on this list. And it gives you an example. So as soon as you click in here, I just copy this. And I know I did this before somehow. I'll just type it. So are receiving this email at my website because some people don't see your email immediately sometimes they'll see it days later and they won't remember why they signed up um, if you go to a an event and you're passing out cards you put them on your mailing list and you have permission to do so um, say that I met you at this awesome event when we were networking and you know you could put it there okay I don't want any notifications um, can't remember if it forces me to do that okay so now we have a new list yay Okay, so I went to hellobar.com. I'm using Internet Explorer. For some reason, um, Chrome always gives me issues, but I noticed that they have added a login with Google option, so I'm assuming it should be a little bit better. Um, I'm still going to um, use Internet Explorer for this, though. Um, login with Google. Um, I have to find one that I'm not using with Hello Bar, so give me a second. Okay, we're going to try this. I, think I'm, I don't think I'm using this one. Um, it prompts you to accept um, the um, basically having Google use your information to log in. So I'm just going to accept it and we'll see as soon as I get in. Okay, good. So you want to select your goal and for us, we just want to collect emails from um, your site. So we're just going to select the goal of collect email. It's asking where do you want to collect it and so even though um, you could store it just in hello bar um, I would suggest keeping all of your contacts and your list in one area so since we created a MailChimp let's use MailChimp 
I personally use Get Response, but for now MailChimp is fine and it is free. So we'll use MailChimp. So I'm ready to integrate it. Okay, when I selected it again, I don't know why it prompted me. So I'm not sure why it prompted me to select it again. That's something new. They made an um, update, but basically it's clicked, connected me to MailChimp. Then you select your list that you created. it. So normally you would have multiple lists. We only have one, and this is the one that we just created in MailChimp. Double opt-in means um, you have to confirm basically twice that you're on the list or you have to sign up and then um, do a confirmation. Um, it's advised that you do this. I'm just like, no, I know I have issues with people signing up when I do that. So anyways, right now this is showing my current site. So this is actually how social media management excuse me, social media strategy 101 looks with these colors and everything. So you are going to want to match your site. This is how Hello Bar will look at the top. So on your left hand side, you answer what do you want to collect? Names and email addresses or just email addresses. Okay, I'll do both for now. And the list that you created in Hello Bar was called My Contacts. It was the first field there, so we'll just leave that as is. And we'll click on Next. And it gives you different options as far as where you want it. You could do the pop-up. You can do, um, I'm gonna go to Previous. Next, um, sorry, Change Type. You go to Module. Okay, there's several different types, just a tip. Um, you want the first thing someone does is to sign up for your mail list. So that's where you have the pop-ups and the one at the top. You wanna keep it at the top one fourth of the page um, for signups or as a pop-up because you want people's eyes to draw, be drawn to your list and just sign up. Um, and then if you offer a freebie, then it's easier, grabs their attention. So. Um, if you turn this off, it's going to ask you to pay. These are different options. Um, it gives you the option to animate it as it comes in, to wiggle. That actually, I leave that on, etc. If it pushes the whole page down, meaning the top just pushes down, or if it just covers it. So see, this is covering my menu, so I always push it down. Um, if it remains in place, or if you have the option of um, hiding it. Okay. You could do different sizes. This is also something new that you can do, but um, I'm just going to leave it as default. You do want it at the top. This is where you pick your brand colors. Okay. If you do not know your brand colors, and let me think of what this site is. I think it's hex.color. Colors with three R's. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Everything we've been talking about in color so far has been up here with um, Okay, so I'm going to put in my brand colors and notice what it does when I hit enter on next. Oops. Okay, so when we first started, um, we had the My Contacts list. That's the list that we connected to our MailChimp. So we're gonna leave that there. Um, you have the choice of collecting just emails or email 
and names. Um, I'm going to collect both because I do address people in my email sometimes. But just keep in mind that the less um, information that people have to fill in, um, the more um, up they are to actually sign in. So I'm going to click on Next. This gives you different options. You could change the type. And there's different types, so there's slider in the bottom right. There's page takeover, etc. For our purposes, we're going with the standard pop-up at the top, or um, bar at the top. You want to keep your sign-up sheets within the top one-fourth of your page or as a pop-up, so people's eyes will be drawn to that first. Okay? If you turn that off, the branding off, um, which is this part in the corner, then they charge you, so we're going to leave that on. Animated entry. When it comes in, it gives a little animation. Wiggle button, which I always turn on because it gives that little extra oomph. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these, but basically you do want to push it down because um, if not, your menu can be covered. Okay, and those are all the placements. I'm just going to click on Next. Here's where you hit Enter Your Colors. Press my tab key, and then the second color, which is white, which is fine. Okay, third color instead of black, I'm going to do my branded colors, and I'm going to click away. Okay, so that basically matches the site now. Perfect. Save and publish. This is where it gets a little complicated. If you um, manage your own WordPress site, then I will show you how to install it on your own WordPress site. Um, if you do not, I would not start here. Um, just email your developer. If you have something like, um, i trying to think of like Wix or Wibbly. Um, I'm not sure if Hello Bar works with those, but if so, you would probably use the code. So for here, I'm just going to put I use WordPress. It prompts you to download. So I'm just going to save. And it saves a plugin zip file. Um, it gives you the instructions here, but I'm getting ready to show you how to install the plugin. And then add new. And there's a lot to search for and choose, but in this case, we have one that we need to upload. And so plugins really just make um, WordPress a lot easier to use. There are little features and tricks and tips and um, additions to do the So in this case, um, we just need to upload a plugin. And you're going to choose the file. When you're searching for the file, it just lets you know it's called hello bar WP plugin dot zip. So the hello bar is um, a zip file. And then just click on install. Okay, so that installs the plugin. I'm just going to show you. So if I go to install plugins, it's probably not a lot on this site because this is a membership site for me, but you'll see hello, not hello bar, um, Dolly. Yeah, hello bar is right here. So um, it's installed, but it's not activated. I'm just going to go back because usually you activate it um, on the screen that we were at. Oops. Okay, I'll just go back to my um, installed plugins. But basically, you just click on Activate to activate the plugin. So I'm going to find it and click on Activate. There you go. Okay. 
Okay, so now if I go back to my site, um, actually, I need to log out of here. Let me just log out. Okay, so now when I come to the page, you see that it pushed my page down and it has my branded colors. And if I do click here, um, it will add to the list. So I'm going to do something. Um, I'll do Nina and sorry, this is my name. Click here. Okay, it says thank you for signing up. So now if I go back to my contacts, it's most likely added. There you go. It's added to your contacts. One contact has been added. It takes a while to sync back to MailChimp, so it may not be there yet. But you can see that at least in Hello Bar, um, it is added. So that's fine. We have that person on our list. Hey, so did you like that video? If so, please like and subscribe. If anything didn't make sense or you have a question still, go ahead and leave your comments below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Again, like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.